What is up, y'all? Welcome to Solo Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I am your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by y'all, the peanut gallery today, because today we are bringing y'all, and by we, I mean, I guess I am bringing y'all La Havre, which is apparently originally Dutch, which is now French for the Havre. It's a joke. I know. It's a port. I know. Work with me. Uh, designed by Uwe Rosenberg and published by Lookout Spiel and about 44 other companies out there. So welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. Going to be a good one today. I'm looking forward to this. This is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, I've yet to play it solo. Although the solo rules are no different than the multiplayer rules. So maybe I have. Just I, It's a joke. All right, hopefully y'all are having a good whatever the hell day it is today. It's Wednesday, so hopefully you guys are having a good Wednesday. I'm in a pretty good uh, pretty good mood. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Before we get started, big thanks to all the patrons who help make all of this possible. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff down below. You want to support the show. You think it's worth supporting a buck or two a month. I certainly would appreciate it. You can go to pledgehc.com and support the show there. All right, La Havre. Uh, as you guys know, I do not believe in the term entry level game or like, like, this is a heavy Euro, but I also think I, I've been successful in introducing new players to the hobby with La Havre. So, yeah. If you haven't played it, rules are going to be real simple. I'm actually going to do a full teach on the front end. Uh, there may be a couple of uh, details here or there that I gloss over, but for the most part, this is one of the simplest heavy Euros out there, in my opinion. So without further ado, if you guys are ready, I certainly am ready. Let's get into the hob. All right. So I will read from the front of the rule book here. All right. La Havre is a French city containing France's second largest harbor after Marseille. The city is notable not only for its size, but also for its unusual name. The Dutch word Havre uh, means harbor, was adapted into the French in 12th century, or into French in the 12th century, but these days it's also considered archaic and Le Port is used instead. Well, there you go. All right. The principle of the game is simple. A player's turn consists of two parts. First, distribute newly supplied goods into the offer spaces, and then take an action. As an action, you have two options. Take all the goods from one of the offer, or do one of the, move into one of the available buildings. Building actions allow players to upgrade goods, sell them, or use them to build their own buildings and ships. Buildings are both an investment opportunity and a revenue stream, as players must pay an entry fee to use buildings, that they do not own. Ships, on the other hand, are primarily used to provide the food that is needed to feed the workers. After every seven turns, the round ends. A harvest increases players' grain and cattle reserves. Players must feed their workers. I mean, it is an Uwe Rosenberg game, right? After a fixed number of rounds, each player may carry out one final action, then the game ends. Add the value of all your buildings and ships to their cash reserves. Players am amass the largest fortune is the winner. Basically, that overview taught you how to play La Havre. All right? So here we go. What is it you guys are looking at? You know what? Back up. Before I even talk about that, 
Normally I have the game already set up before we get started, but because the rule book is terrible on setting up for a solo play, I really want to make this crystal clear for everybody out there that is interested in playing the solo. So we're going to finish the setup. And during the setup, I will go over what it is that you're looking at. One bitter thing I have, though, about this and just about every other Uwe Rosenberg game, there are special buildings in this game. In a solo playthrough, you actually only use three special buildings. There are six randomly distributed into the stack. And look at this. Look at all of these cards that are available and you use a maximum of six of them in the game. And still, we cannot get an expansion for Orit Labora. Okay? Just, I'm bitter. By the way, uh, my edition of this game, uh, in, or came with the uh, Le Grand Hamu, I think is, I'm probably butchering that, but it's extra special buildings, because again, not Orit Labora. So they may be in there. I don't know which ones are in there. So there are six of them set up there. Also, I should point out that while these handy dandy little containers are perfect for this game, they do not come with the game. I think I got them at Michael's or something like that. Maybe. Yeah, I think Michael's. Whatever. Doesn't matter. All right. So setup wise, this is going to be the thing that is really, really important for folks. So you see these cards over here, and I guess I should go ahead and show you guys here. These cards right there, if they have a large check mark next to them, that means they are used in the full game. We are playing the full game, and in my opinion, I have never known anybody to play the short game, which is the small check marks. So for all intents and purposes, as far as I'm concerned, ignore the small check marks. So you'll notice that all of these have a single or have a check mark in the one player uh, mark, okay? However, there are three particular buildings that I want to point out to everybody out there, all right? Because again, this is not clear in the rule book. So you see these two do not have check marks in them, but they say start. But the start is down in the bottom right-hand corner where the short game is. So in other words, these two cards right here, which are the black market and the sawmill, are not used in the long or the regular solo game. So these do not get included in our deck, all right? However, this one has a check mark next to it and it also says start on it. Again, the start is in reference to the short game, which we're not playing. So it has a check mark. So in other words, it joins the other 14 cards that have check marks next to them there, and this will get shuffled up, and these will be the 15 uh, standard buildings that we will use in the game, okay? So, yeah, just this is really confusing because the way it's written in the rule book, honestly, is pretty terrible. So I wanted to point that out, and that's why we do not have the buildings out here yet. So I will shuffle those up here in a little bit. And last but not least, we have the uh, spaces that are, it's the same seven spaces that are going to be used in every game, and we're going to just shuffle these up and then put them out there. And then once we have done all of that and we get through the setup, then we can go through how to actually play the game. And again, I'm just randomly throwing these out. And so that means, in theory, every game that you play is going to be completely different. Now these, the uh, standard buildings, the 15 standard buildings, these all get shuffled up. And yes, Sergio, I am really salty about Orit Labor. <laughs> How y'all doing today? All right. Having a great day today. Hopefully you guys are feeling good. All right. So those are adequately shuffled. We are now going to make three stacks of these. So five cards each. Okay, so we have those. Then what we need to do is over here, you'll notice that each of the cards here has a number in the top right hand corner, okay? So what we need to do with each of those three stacks of five cards, we need to have these to where the lowest number is going to be on the top, okay? So if you notice, five would be the lowest number in this stack, then it goes to nine, then 
18, then 23. So it will be, these will get fanned out in this order. Now that we have them lowest number on top, we want to be able to read what these are at the bottom of this, okay? So we're going to do that for all of the three building proposals over there. And so now you guys will just have to take my word that I'm putting these in order. 10, 14, 16, 22, 25. And this is, it's the same building proposals used in every game, but what stack they end up and in what order they are, along with where these seven offer spaces are not offer spaces, but uh, round spaces, not uh, turn spaces. Let me get the technical term for those supply tiles, where these supply tiles are. Where those are is going to uh, give you the variance between each of the, between every game that you play. So now we have all of our building proposals out there. And now we can go ahead and start talking about how to play the game as well as what it is you guys are looking at. All right, so everything that you see is contained mostly in this area, okay? On the main board here, we have the bank, the treasury, and again, it, it uses little cardboard uh, money, so this is easier seen, so we're using, obviously, the heavy cardboard chips on that. So we have the treasury over here. Then we have the various supply, and what these are, we have the fish, the wood, clay, iron, grain, cattle, hide, and coal. Uh, supply up there. Then we have the supply tiles, which these tiles, we will actually not flip these up until the first action in each of the first seven turns of the first round. But as we go along, that will all make sense. Then down below, we have the offer spaces. We have the francs or the money that uh, I'll probably use uh, dollars. I'll use coins, francs, whatever, it all means money in this game. I should also point out, money is points in this game. So anytime that you get money, you're getting points. Anytime you spend money, you're losing points. You have the fish, wood, clay, iron, grain, and cattle offers out here. Then we have the round track or actual cards. And again, because this is the solo game, this is a, uh, a, uh, pre-set up, it is the same every game depending on player count out here, and I will go over the details on what is on this round card over here. We have uh, ship food offset tiles. We have spots for ships, which are on the reverse side of the turn cards. Then we have the pre-constructed buildings up here. Now these belong to the town. Now the way, because I didn't want to have to zoom out too terribly far for you guys, anything that is built by the town or that the town owns is going to be up here and along this side there. Anything that I build is going to be over here in this area and then possibly if I need extra room will be over there. All right. Then we have, of course, the special buildings and the available buildings in which to build. Then we have my player tableau. So I start with five francs or five, five bucks in the game. I have a buttery. Now the buttery, what this is, is this is just an, a kind of an extraneous card. On the flip side of it is actually the turn order, but I'm going to actually use two different player ones for this so that we have the buttery here and then we have the turn order available to you guys as well, or the turn overview, I should say. So the buttery here, this is where you can store food for the end of the next round because it's a Nouvelle Rosenberg game, so you're going to need to feed at the end of each round. So therefore, just as a reminder, you can put it over here. Now, this piece of paper that is over here is actually not part of the actual game. This is a player aid uh, produced by Danicus on BGG that I actually have printed off. And he has them printed off or available for depending on the different player counts. Now, this part that you guys can actually see on screen is identical regardless of the player count. Down below off screen, there is a handy dandy little player aid that you guys don't need to see, but it actually shows what goes on for every round in addition with the turnover view, so it just helps keep everything straight. Every player has a ship 
that is going to move onto the supply tiles for every turn. And everybody has a, well, for lack of a better way to put it, a worker. The workers are actually going to go onto the buildings to be able to do whatever the buildings out there say to do. All right, so now that we have talked about everything that you can see and everything that is applicable here, how do you actually play Lahav? Well, in Lahav, it is a super simple game. On your turn, you're going to do two mandatory things, and then you have an option of doing any mix of those additional actions as shown over there. So the first thing that you do is place your ship piece on the next supply space, place the two different goods or francs shown on the appropriate offer spaces. Pretty simple. So you know what? It's the beginning of the game. We're going to have to move into the space. So let's go ahead and flip it over and show you guys exactly what this is. So, as you can see here, at the beginning of the first turn of every round, we are going to put out one iron from the supply, so one iron into the offer there, and we will take one franc from the treasury and add it to the offer. Easy enough. That's step one there. Then, you choose one of two things to do on your turn. Take all of the goods or francs from one offer space, or move your worker to a new building and do whatever the building that you just moved into says. That's it. So take all of the goods in an offer space. So in this case, we have, and I'll show you this a little bit more in detail, at the beginning of the game, we have two francs, but obviously there's going to be one more added there. There are two fish available. There are two wood available. There is one clay. And then eventually, at the end of the, uh, the supply phase, there will be one iron. Whenever you take those items, you're actually going to put it over here onto your tableau. So you'll notice that I start with five francs, but I also start with one coal here. All right. So anytime you take any of the offers from any of the spaces up here, you're going to add it onto your little tableau. So you'll notice that there are two levels. This is more the raw side, and this is an improved side, is a general rule on how to think about this. Okay. So cattle turns into meat, clay turns into bricks, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I do want to point out Bricks can always be used for clay. That is not always the case in Uve games. And steel can always be used for iron. All right. So choose one thing. Take the entire stack of whatever it is. Put it onto your player board. That's one option. So that is an offer. Okay. The other option that you can do is you may move your worker into any other building available. Now, what buildings are available? These are buildings that are available to be built. These have not been built, so these are not available yet. These three that are owned by the town to begin with are available, and obviously I do not have any buildings of my own. All right? So, at the beginning of the game, there are three buildings that are available to me as the player. So, I can go to the building firm, I can go to a worse building firm, or I can go to the construction firm. Now, before I go any further, let's go ahead and talk about the anatomy of any of the building cards that are out there, all right? And fundamentally, they are all the same, just their special ability is going to be different. In that top right-hand corner, it has a card number. So you'll see that this is building one, building two, building three. Those are the three starter ones. And they are, they have a green name or a green background banner, all right? In the top left-hand corner, you have the amount of money that it will cost for you if you choose to buy that building. We will talk about that here in a little bit. That is also its worth at the end of the game. So it costs four to build this building, but it's also worth four points at the end of the game. Easy enough, six and eight respectively. Then down below that, it is what the building actually does. So you'll see over here, building one building or build one building. Choose from the top cards of the building proposals and build one of them. This one is the exact same thing, except you'll notice that it has a little food, a little uh, a le croissant, uh, a Dutch oven up there in the top right hand corner. That means 
that is a cost for you to be able to move your worker into that building. First, you must pay the cost. And the cost is one food in this case. Well, what is a food? Well, if you take a look down here at our handy dandy little player aid or our little board here, you'll see that there is the fish are worth one food. And I guess I could scoot that up now that you guys have seen that it is for the one player. Let me slide that up a little bit. There we go. So fish are worth one food. And then smoked fish are worth two food, bread are worth two food, meat is worth three food, et cetera, et cetera. So if I wish to be able to go up there to that building firm up here, I would have to pay one food. Now the game does not give you change. So if you overpay for food, then well, c'est la vie. Whereas if I went to this building to build a building, <laughs> oh, excuse me. This would be cost of no food to be able to go the fee to go into the location, to into the building. Whereas this one, the construction firm costs two food to move into it. And it says build one or two buildings. And then you choose from the top cards. <laughs> oh, allergies are killing me. I apologize. The joys of life. All right. So those are the available buildings in which we can choose our worker to move into. Now, if on a previous turn I had moved into that building, you might be asking yourself, self, why would I ever move into this building? <coughs> a moment. All right, let's see if that's a little bit better. You might be asking yourself, why would I ever go, especially in a solo game, when there's only one worker in the game, why would I ever go to this building firm when this one's available? Well, in order for you to activate a building, it only activates the moment you move into it. You cannot reactivate a current building that you are already in. So in this case, I'm already in this building firm. So if we look on a given turn, you may either choose take all the goods on an offer or move your person to a new building. Ergo, I cannot be in this building, I must move to a different building. In that case, that is why you may choose the building firm or the construction firm. And once you've done so, then on a subsequent turn, et cetera, et cetera. And your worker will stay in that building indefinitely until you choose to move that worker into a new building. There is an exception to that, but I will get into that here in a little bit. So getting back to this, that's the extent of 90% of the game. Move into a supply uh, uh, space, fill whatever it says w with one each, and there's no limit that can be in an offer and there's no limit that can be on your player board. Then either take everything that's in one offer or move to a new building. But there are three additional actions that you can take before or after your main action here. They are to buy a building. So buy buildings and ships at any time during your turn. So I had just talked about buying buildings. Buying means you pay in francs the amount of coins that it shows up there to the bank and then you literally will take that building and put it into your tableau and now it's going to be worth that at the end of the game and then it now is available for you to use or other players if you were playing a multiplayer game. Now, I did mention that your workers never come off a building except in really one exception and that is whenever a building is bought or sold if there is a worker currently on it, the worker will immediately come back to the player and then it will go into their tableau. Now, if this were a multiplayer game, I would turn these around so that other players could read them easily. It's a whole lot easier. It's a handy dandy little trick, but since this is solo, I don't need to worry about that there. Now, even though it was my worker that was on that location, it still comes off even though I'm the one that bought it. So now I can reactivate that building because then as my main action, because remember, buying is not your main action, you may then move your person onto a building, 
I can then move on to that and not have to pay the food going onto that building. The same is true if ever you wish to sell a building. Sell buildings and ships for half their face value at any time during the game. So maybe I just don't want to have to pay to use that building, pay that entry fee of one food. I could sell this to get two francs. My worker will then come off and then that will immediately be sold back to the town. So I will have either bought it or built it, more on the building here in a little bit, but I will have got paid for, but I will have gotten two for it. But now, as an action, I can go on to it, or as normal, I can choose one of the offers. All that making sense? I hope out. I hope so, okay? Yeah, so to put it another way, you get kicked out, or you kick out any worker that is on there. If you were playing a multiplayer game, each of these are essentially worker placement spots. When somebody occupies that spot, Nobody else can occupy that spot. They don't get kicked out. In other words, if I'm there, I could, in theory, stay there the entire game and nobody would ever be able to use that building unless they bought that building, in which case that kicks me out. But we're playing solo, so that doesn't apply. Hopefully all of that makes sense. All right, the last thing that you can do as an additional action, all right, is repay loans. You could, oh, wait. Loans? Yeah, we haven't talked about loans. We'll get there, though. You may return loan cards for five francs each at any point during the game, and I do implore you to do so by the end of the game, or else they're going to be worth negative points or negative money at the end of the game. All right. So that is the entire game, pretty much. But now let's go through the actual mechanisms of what goes on in a, in a given turn in a given round. So this being the solo game, it says start, remove 15 buildings. Those 15 buildings that we sorted into these three piles, that's what it means by remove. Removing the two weird ones that say start that you don't actually use because we're not playing the short game. All right. This says in round one, at the end of the round, we're going to have to feed five food. So we're going to have to pay five food. Then at the end of the, after that, the town, La Havre here, is going to build a special building or in round two, a regular building, okay? There's going to be a harvest. I will talk about a harvest here in a little bit. And then there, it's going to become a wooden ship at the end of the round that can be purchased for, or that, yeah that can be purchased. So let's go ahead and talk about now how the anatomy of a round actually works. All right. Yes, there are special buildings in the solo game. All right. On my turn, the first thing I do is I will move to this space and I will fill one there and one there. Easy enough there. Then I choose one of the offers or I move my worker into an available building, right? Right. Easy enough. Okay. But if I move into one of the build a building or build uh, one or two buildings, then that has to do with the three proposals. So let's take a look at those a little bit closer. The only ones that are available are the ones that are on top. So in our game here, we have the bakehouse, we have the clay mound, and we have the marketplace. To be able to build these, you must discard from your personal supply here, whatever resources it says must be discarded to be able to build the building. So you'll notice the bakehouse up here in the top left says that I must discard two clay. All right. Moving over to the right on the clay round, it says the clay mound cannot be built, but must be bought by a player. So we can't build the clay mound. So while it remains here, we cannot build it. So how do we purchase it? More on that here in a little bit. And last but not least, we have the marketplace, which is going to cost us two wood to be able to build. All right, so if I were to go over to one of these buildings as my action, placing my worker out there, build one or two buildings. Well, if I choose to build the bakehouse, I would discard two clay and then this card would then come over into my tableau, and now as my second build, if I wish, 
I now have the option of the charcoal kiln, the clay mound, which can't be built, or the marketplace. Easy enough, right? Now let's go over the anatomy of these. Now all of these are rule breakers or they produce resources or they do something special, as you can see on the given cards. Now, the iconography on these cards are, should be pretty much crystal clear. But let's go over. The bakehouse says you may turn grain into bread, and then you, but you must spend half an energy per grain that you turn into bread. And not only will you turn it into bread, you get half a franc. Now, there are no half francs in this game, so things always round not in your favor. It's much like Age of Steam in that regard. So if I had, say, a stack of five grain here, that would cost me two and a half energy that I would have to expend if I chose to go into that, but I can only do so once it is either built by the town or built by me. So technically you will never see a worker in any of these three locations, but just for simplicity's sake, so I don't actually have to physically move the card, it gives you an idea. So if I had five grain, I then would have to take five grain from over here on my player board, and I would have to spend two and a half energy. Now, we haven't talked about energy. Well, wood, you'll see, is worth one energy. So I discard three wood, again, you don't get change, or I discard one coal, which is worth three energy, and then I can convert it, but you also see that coke, which is a refined version of coal, or charcoal, those are worth more energy, all right? But let's get back to our building up here. If we have gone onto the bakehouse and we turn our five grain, you spending two and a half, or as it were, three uh, energy, that would turn into five bread, and then it would turn into two and a half francs. Rounded down, I would get two francs from the game. Easy enough, right? I think. Pretty self-explanatory. A clay mound. Get three clay. Plus, you get one more clay per that icon. Now, we have not talked about these icons, but you notice that each building has, well, not every building, but a lot of the buildings have different icons in the top right-hand side there. So you'll notice that it has a building icon and then it may have a industry icon down here. So we have the little hammer. You'll get three clay plus one clay for every hammer that is on a building that you own. Well, I don't own those, so that wouldn't apply. But if I did purchase any of those buildings, then I would get additional clay whenever I go to the clay mound. Pretty self-explanatory. The marketplace, however, says take two different standard goods, including hides and coal, standard being your basic resources, meaning these that are out down here on the offers, okay? All right. One additional for every one of those symbols that is in your tableau, that symbol being the little house symbol. It does not apply to those. There are special cards that apply to those. Easy enough. Then look at the top two special buildings and return them in any order. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. So when they are here, they may only be built. They may not be purchased even though they have a purchase price on them, as you can see. And the clay mound, you cannot build it when well, it's there. You can only purchase that. Well, you might be asking yourself, how, well, how the heck do I do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. So let's go ahead and go back to the round marker, all right? The round marker, here. This says, at the end of the first round, we're gonna pay five food, but there's going to be a harvest first. A harvest says, if you have any amount of grain, you're going to get one additional grain. If you have 42 grain, you get one grain. And for every, check that, if you have at least two cattle, you will get one additional cattle. If you have 42 cattle, that is a lot of cattle, you get one extra cattle, doesn't matter. Not for every pair, it is one additional. All right, so we'll do a harvest, then you have to pay five food, then the town will build a special building. What that means is we're going to take one of these special buildings, we're gonna flip it up, and the town has now built it. So for us to be able to buy a building, it must have already been built 
by the town. Whereas if you look here at the next round, it will build a regular standard building. Well, a standard building, what are those? Well, the standard buildings are these guys. And you might be asking yourself, self, which of those will it build? There are three stacks. Well, I'm glad you asked. It will build the lowest number available. That is number five, that is number 10, that is number one up there in the top right hand corner. But those might not be available at the end of the second round. So those numbers will be changing depending on what the top card is. All right? All right, there we go. Then at the end of the round, after we have finished doing all of the stuff that is on here, we are then going to flip this card over and then put it into the applicable ship location. But before I do that, I'll go over the anatomy of a ship. Because, again, you may buy buildings and ships at any time, right? Well, once there are ships available, you can do so. So what does a ship do? Well, let's go ahead and talk about the anatomy of this card first. If you wish to build a ship, which we cannot do at the beginning. Um, oh, wow, where, a moment. I'm actually looking where the wharf is. <gasps> oh, wow, that is really unfortunate. The wharf is way down here, and that is public information. The wharf is what allows us to build ships. <laughs> Might be a little bit. All righty, but let's get back to this. The building cost would be five wood and three energy. The purchase cost is two francs, all right? It has a ship icon, so anything that applies to ships will apply to this, all right? Now, I say the, the building cost or the buying cost is two. That's not entirely true. That is what it's worth at the end of the game. The cost to purchase the ship is 14, but it's only worth two points at the end of the game. So you might be asking yourself, self, why would I even bother? Well, there are two reasons why you might want to buy slash build a ship. Number one, it allows you to sell two goods using the shipping line. The shipping line is another building that is going to be available, and the shipping line is way down there when that becomes available. We'll go over that when we get there. But it allows us to be able to use the shipping line to be able to gain points, sell goods. But here's the other thing. It provides food at the end of a round. This being a solo game, it's the one player, this will provide us with five food. Five food looks like that. So we would put that marker on top of it. And now, at the end of the rounds, remember, at the, round, at the end of a round, you're going to owe some amount of food. So now, whatever total that you have here that is supplied by your ships, you don't know that food anymore. So this offsets five food that I owe permanently as long as I own that ship. So that can be extraordinarily helpful in this game because uh, this just in, at the end of the game or by the end of the game, I will have paid 140 food to the game. 140 food. So the first round, I will owe five food, I will owe 10 food, then I will owe 15 food, then I will owe 20 food, etc., etc. All right? There we go. So this wooden ship would then come up here, and now we have the second round. So the beginning of the first turn, there, and then I will either take an offer or I will place my worker. Then, I, and in addition, I can do any of those three things as well. Then, second turn, I will flip this over there, I will move to it, and we will fill, and then I will take those two actions. So I have seven turns before we get to the end of the first round. We do that over the course of seven rounds, and then we're going to take one additional action at the end of the game, and then we're going to count up the points. And that is how you play La Havre. Couple other things, you cannot buy and sell a building in the same turn, you cannot sell and buy a, a building in the same turn, and loans. Loans, you may take when you must take a loan. In other words, a loan. You take this card in four francs, okay? 
if they're needed to pay interest or to pay for food during a harvest. Those are the only times you are allowed to take a loan. There is no limit to the number of loans that you can have. As long as you have at least one loan, you pay one franc whenever a player's ship reaches the interest supply tile, which we, it's, we know it's not going to be in the first one. We don't know where it'll be. It'll be somewhere in there. Then you owe five francs to pay back each one or else it's worth negative seven at the end of the game. All right. And I also should point out that you can always eat coins. In other words, you can buy food with them, right? So one coin equals one food. It does not work the other way around. You cannot pay in food for coins. So it's a one-way street in that regard. So you pay one interest, not per loan, but total. No matter how many loans you have, you pay one interest whenever we move on to the interest space. And the interest space will be on one of these seven tiles. We know it's not on the first one. There we go. That, folks, is how you play Lahav, easy enough. Yes, until the end of the game, you can left them alone. Yes, ha ha ha, JJ. All right, I will bring up that. I will bring that up there. And, hi guys, wrong button, that's all right. We will put this right there. All right. So, uh, scoring wise, I don't know what a good score is in Lahav. So all of you guys out there that have uh, played this solo, what's a good score we should shoot for? You guys tell me while I get a drink. Oh, this isn't Tom's favorite game. I think this is Tom's favorite heavy Euro. Have I played this before? Oh my God, yes. I've played this oodles of times. We've streamed it, I know at least, at least once if not twice, but never solo. I've never played this solo, but I know the game and it plays the exact same, no matter whether it's solo or multiplayer. The only thing that I'm unprepared for is the amount of food that you need to feed. Um, all right, Board Game Loser says 175? That seems low, but maybe, maybe, I don't know. Is that a, that's a good score, I guess? Depends if you play with or without the advanced rules. What are the advanced rules? What advanced rules are there? Like now I'm all like self-conscious. Like have I ever, like I don't know what these advanced rules are. Oh, my bad, Gorov. By the way. We ever gonna like hear from you again, Gorov? You disappeared a year ago. What's up, Christos? Hmm. This is this is Tom's number one game? Really? Interesting. Huh. All right. Well, all right. Uh, over under on Glory to Rome's. Two and a half, because I don't tend to do a lot of those when I am solo, apparently. Um, oh, wow. Hold on one second. I am, uh, oh, well, hold on Whew. before we get started priorities here, people. Hey. First try, you see that? See that? The hell happened there, though. That's what happens when you get cocky. There we go. All right, so. Cheers to Nathaniel. Cheers. Thank you for the support, Nathaniel. Thank you. And cheers to uh, Mike. Cheers. Thank you very much. They went to pledgehc.com, supported the show. Certainly appreciate that, y'all. Thank you very, very much. And I dropped my remote. There we go. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Huh. Interesting. All right. So I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea what a good score is in this game. 
Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, that was two player. Maybe 300? Yeah, let's go uh, 819. So 820 now. Let, let's call it 300. And if anybody knows a good score for this, we'll go ahead and pin that up there. And so place your bets. Do I hit 300 or not? Over under on Glory to Rome's going to be uh, two and a half. All right. Awesome. All right, got our sleeves rolled up, we're ready to rock and roll. And I am definitely going to need my glasses for this. All right. Well, first thing first, we need to throw an iron out. And if uh, I have pretty much everything set up for you guys to be able to see, but if you need something specific uh, zoomed in on, just let me know and I will, uh, I will do so. So the first seven turns, I'll probably go slow. After that, we're gonna pick up the pace. Um, it's about an hour long game when you're playing it solo. So let's see how we do. We add one franc there. And this is going to be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty relatively speedy, I think. We start with one coal. We have offers out here. We have wood, which Mm. To be able to build the marketplace up there requires two wood. Oh, I also should point out, you do not have to pay a fee when it's your own building. So this marketplace, pay two food or a franc. Um, if I don't own it, I have to pay that fee, but I don't have to. All right. 250. Wow. All right. I cannot buy the clay mound yet, Banker Dave. I cannot because it is. Now I'm all self-conscious. Hold on one second. Yeah, I lied. These are available to be built as well as the ones. I'm totally brain cramped. So thank you, Banker Dave, on that. So you know what? The clay mound actually isn't a really bad idea to start with for, I think we will. Good call. Yep. So you know what? I think we will. So I will spend two francs and I will buy the clay mound to go and get that started. Because clay mound cannot be built may be bought by a player. So I forgot. Top ones can be built, uh, can be bought or built. There we go. And these can only be bought. Thank you. So that's still, we bought. We still have not taken a main action yet. All right. But I think Dave makes a compelling argument to go ahead and start off because you'll notice there is one clay available here. That is uh, three clay. That's about three times as good. So you know what? I think for our first action, we'll go ahead and do that. So I'll just move it there off to the side. So I get three clay plus one clay for every one of those symbols I have. I don't have any of those. Ergo, I get three clay. All right. One, two, and three. All right. Good. Done. Next turn. Now these, we will, you only, these do not change every round. They're just hidden until the first time you actually go to them. So here we go. We have one wood and one cattle. So we throw out a wood and we throw out a moo cow. Easy enough. Okay. So now we have three wood available. Tempting. Uh, we have no food right now. We have, let's see. All right. So what do we do? Um, if we were, so we can't build, we could build the bakehouse 
right now with two clay. But if we go to the construction firm, which allows us to build two buildings, I think, I think we actually take the wood because we need food, but if we can do so, we'll be able to build both of those buildings on the same turn. So you know what? I think that's what we will do. So for the offers, we will, there's three wood here. That seems like a good amount. We'll go ahead and take the three wood. There we go, boom, done, all right? Okay, done. Next one. We have, oh, third one. Fish, one fish and a clay. So that's three and another clay. All right. So we don't have food, but we can always buy food, right? So if we wanted to go to the construction firm, we could pay two bucks to go ahead and do so. However, there are three fish available there. There are three bucks available there. I don't know. Mm. Because it's all about efficiency of actions, right? In this game. Uh, I don't know what to do. We could just build the marketplace. for two of the wood. But I feel like building one building just feels so, blech. Now the brickworks is kind of nice. There is an iron on offer there, all right. Hmm. I am one wood short from being able to get both of those if I were to take the iron. Dave says I could take the francs and then just buy the marketplace. And, I mean, the marketplace has to be done in the first turn for the simple fact that if I want to control what special building comes out, all right? Um, You know what, if I were to spend, I think as my action, I'll go up. Yeah, I think so. I think I will go ahead and pay two bucks, i.e. two food, there we go, to the bank. And I will go ahead and build the bakehouse and the marketplace. So that's going to cost me two clay and two wood to be able to do so. So that's two wood. That is two clay. Even though the bakehouse, as uh, Adam says, is not so great in the solo game, it does, however, allow us one extra good because of that symbol there. Okay, so there's that. Okay, you read? Yeah, I feel all right with that. Okay, so that is done. And uh, JJ asked, are there multiple ships? So on the first, the first player would have put their ship here. The second player clockwise around the table would have put their ship there. The third player when it's their turn, puts their ship there. In, a, say, a four-player game, the fourth player would go there. Then the first player would move their ship from there to there. The second player on their turn would move there, and so on. So if you're fourth, you'll notice you only actually take one turn 
in the first round. There are a different number of rounds depending on the player count. All right. So there we go. All right. That's the end of that turn. We have one wood and one clay. All right. There we go. We need to move our ship. All right. So again, we've done this. So now take an action and then buy, sell, no loans to repay, right? All right. Well, we have the charcoal kiln that became available up there. Let's take a look at that. That just lets you basically turn all your wood into charcoal. Boom. And that costs one clay, which we have. Not bad. The brickworks, we are a wood short and an iron short to be able to do that. That we, we've, uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. It costs half an energy per clay. You want to flip over to the other side, which is a brick. And then the fishery became available, which we, we can also, we have one wood and we have one clay, allows you to grab three fish and then one additional fish per fisherman uh, symbol. And the fisherman symbol is that guy, all right? Including that building, if you own that, all right? Oh, five player Lahav is really brutal exit, but I like it. Not everyone does, all right? I might not use it, Adam. I understand. All right. Yeah. Like Christopher said. All right. So what do we want to do here? Um, so we know we're going to need five food. I really want to be able to go to the construction firm again, but unfortunately... I cannot. You have to move from that building, right? So I could go, I could get three clay here. Um, I could go to the marketplace, which would give me three standard goods, which are basically those. Uh, as well as coal or hide. So, or, or a better way to put it is the bottom row here. That would give me three. You know, the marketplace might not be a terrible idea. because then that allows me to go back to the construction firm in this turn, and then I have two turns to be able to do some stuff for food. I think that might not be a terrible idea. So, I'm going to, as my action, I think, yeah, I'm gonna go to the marketplace, okay? So a marketplace, take two different standard goods, including hides and coal, plus one additional for every one of those symbols that we have. Well, that means I can take three different ones, and then we can look at the top two special buildings and return them in any order, okay? All right, so three different goods. So taking a look at our tableau, any of these are available to us. Honestly, I was leaning towards... I'd be one short. I a wood and an iron would allow us to build the brickworks. And a clay, if I were to take one, one, and one, I would be able to get both the charcoal kiln and the brickworks with my next action. That's not terrible. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I will go ahead and take those three. So I will take a wood. It's not sexy, I understand that, but it's all about getting our buildings, right? I'll get a clay. And notice, I'm not taking from the offers, taking from the supply for this. There, and an iron. And then, special buildings. So we get to look at the top two, and I legitimately have no idea what these are, all right? Here we go. Let's see what they are. First one says, it's a tavern. It's built by the town and may be bought by a player. Okay. So a tavern says you turn a wood and a grain, up to four of them, into three coins each. It is that type of building and it has a fisherman symbol. And it looks like they're having a good time. 
it does look like everybody is social distancing as well. So props on that. All right, cool. And cattle drive. All right, so uh, begins uh, belongs to the town, but may be bought by a player. This costs the food, four bucks. Each other player who has at least one cattle must give you a cattle. In the two player game, you receive two cattle from your opponent. In my opinion, I'm going to get rid of this card because it literally does not apply in a solo game. I told you, I did not figure these out. So I'm actually going to replace this with one of these. So. And I will replace it with that one. There we go. Okay? Because solo game doesn't make sense. All right? So cattle drive, gone. And what will it be instead? That way we keep the integrity of the other four, because I know that matters to some people. <clears throat> Jess. We have a fur industry. Uh, it's built by the town, can be bought by a player, costs two food to go there. It's eight bucks. Take three hides and ten dollars once and turn it into 22 bucks. There we go. I think we have the tavern be built first. That feels like the right one to build first. All right. Okay. So the tavern will go on top of the fur industry and then those will go back. Now, if this were a multiplayer game, nobody else would know that. Just me and y'all, but it's just me. So there we go. All right. That is everything on the marketplace. We are done with that turn. We then move to this one. Wow, interest is gonna be paid late this game. So we have fish and a grain. There we go, all right. All right, uh, just reading the peanut gallery. Some of that stuff's pretty funny. All right, so we have put those out now. So what? we have four fish, but we just got these resources. So I think we stay on target. I should have listened to Dave. I thought we had two bucks. We have one buck and it costs two to go to the construction firm because we have no food. Ugh. Oh, that's gross. Well, that's a lot of fish. Yeah. Yeah. Mistakes were made. Three food or three bucks is the same thing, plus this gives me the extra, so four. We're gonna go ahead and take the fish. I hate taking the fish. It always feels like such a wasted action. It's four fish, I mean, it's four food. We're gonna owe five food, so don't get me wrong, but blech. Done, all right. Interest, hey, there we go. So every time I, you, somebody lands on that, you call out for the table, interest. So anybody that has any amount of loans owes a buck to the bank, but one wood and one fish come out. All right, so now we will come back up to the construction firm. But now we have a really interesting dilemma, okay? Now we owe two food to go there. So one food, two food, okay? So we paid the fee to go on to that spot. So to give you guys an update, we have two wood, two clay, and an iron, okay? So, we can get those two, we can get those two, or we can get those two. I think the brickworks has to happen. So if we get the brickworks, I lied, we cannot get those two, I apologize. So if we get the brickworks, that means we're getting the charcoal kiln as well. 
because we only have two wood and we need a third wood to be able to get those two. All right. You're going to see that at the end of the next turn, David. Uh, so I think we go charcoal kiln and brickworks. Plus, that's 22 points in buildings right there. All right. Yeah, I think so. So that basically wipes through all of our resources just about. So we're going to build those two. But here's the interesting thing. And this is always open information, right? Because we see that the abattoir and the colliery are what's available underneath. So, and it shows what the avail or what the cost is to build them. Okay, it does not show down at the bottom what the special building does, but you get used to what these are the more you play these, okay? So the charcoal kiln underneath it turns cattle into, well, it's a butcher. And it, right, that seems like a pretty good one. And underneath the brickworks, is colliery, so you get coal. All right, but we're going to stay on target because we cannot build any of those in addition to the other ones that we're going to go ahead and build. So we will go ahead and put these bad boys down here and we can go ahead and cover them up like so because honestly, the bottom is just flavor and I will zoom in on these as we go. So that's going to be a total of two wood, a total of two clay, and a total of one iron. There we go. So, we take a look here. Uh, you know what, in hindsight, I think it's probably better to do like that. There we go. All right, so you can see our buildings that we now own, and you'll notice that we have two of these now. So whenever we go back to the marketplace, we'll be able to get four different goods, right? And we have the industry symbol, which we don't have anything that applies to that quite yet. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So that is here. We have one buck, so we're not going to buy any buildings. And remember, you may sell buildings at any point, but Late in the game, that becomes more of a thing uh, than right now. So this will get one franc. So there's four. And van vood. Oh, I'm cheating. There we go. All right. And now we move. So now, at the end of this, we are going to owe five food. Now. Let's go and walk through a couple of these things. What are our options here, right? So if we take a look at the offers, there's four francs. Let's spread out a little bit, but there we go. There's four francs, right? So that's, that's four food, potentially. That covers our food. We would have all five, so we wouldn't have to take a loan. Don't be afraid of loans, but I mean, it's an option, right? One fish, yeah. Three wood. That's a lot of wood. That's not bad. Three clay. Also a lot of clay. However, we can get three clay from our clay mound as an option as well, right? And it would free up the construction firm to be able to bounce back up there. So realistically, probably not the three clay, but the three wood is valid. One iron, eh. Now the one grain normally would be a total waste, okay? However, at the end of the round, if you have a grain, you get a grain. So it's really getting two grain. So keep that in mind, okay? All right. And finally, one cattle. They are not asexual, so yeah, nah. All right? All right. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so... All right, so those are the offers that are available. Building, we have no resources. We have one coal and two fish. But let's take a look at what our buildings are, yeah? So our buildings would give us three clay. We already covered that. We can't use the bakehouse. We could get three different, check that, four different. Yeah, we could get four different resources. So that would be a third fish. 
and other stuff, but meh, doesn't seem that useful. We have no clay and we have no wood, so we're not gonna be using any of those. So the question is, which of the offers? My gut says lean towards the Franks, Franks or the wood, or possibly come over to the clay mound, all right? Uh, or the marketplace, I mean, four. The only thing that has four things in it are the four francs, right? So if we look up here, the town is going to build the special building. So it's not going to build any of these. So if we look at this, what could we build by taking four actions or four, uh, four resources? Well, if we took a wood and a clay, we could build the fishery. Uh, the colliery, we can't do right away because of the fact that it requires three clay and we don't have that, and they have to be different. The abattoir has, is one wood, one clay, and one iron. That's not a terrible idea. Man, I could make a case for the francs, I could make a case for the wood, I could make a case for the clay mound, and I can make a case for the marketplace. Here's the other thing to think about with the marketplace. We know what the top two special buildings are. If we wait one turn to the end of the round, and then we go and we choose to go to the marketplace there, we get to look at the second and third special buildings, which are going to be the only three that are built in the game. I think that might make more sense, all right? Keep in mind, grain is not food right now. Not until it becomes bread. You can't eat grain, just like you can't eat a cow. You can only eat it once it's processed. Ah. Four resources, but that's also four bucks. Ah, all right. I really believe we should wait on the marketplace, but I will listen to the peanut gallery. All right, all right, fine. So, four goods. Well, I know I'm going to take a grain because it's essentially going to become two grain. So, there's one. That's one. We're going to take an iron. So we're on the road there. That's two. And now we know the order in which things are going to come out here. Um, loans are not actions. All they are is when you must take a loan, you take a loan. The end. It's only when you must take a loan. So that's two. I mean, we could take a fish, which offsets, it leaves us more cash. Uh, but I feel like, yeah, on that, I'm leaning towards woods and clay, or wood and clay. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I'm going to take a wood, that's three, and clay is four. The reason, two different standard goods, plus I have those two symbols. So that's a total of four goods. There we go. Done. So now, end of the round. Harvest. All right. If you have a grain, get a grain. I have a grain. So I get a grain. Done. So let's go ahead, walk through this slowly. Okay. So harvest. If you have two or more cows, get a cow. I don't. All right. Pay five food. I don't have five food. So let's take a look. And let me make sure about this. So I'm going to take a loan. So my loans I'll go ahead and put over here with the buttery. 
So that means I get four francs there. Okay. All right. So that is one, two, three, four, five food. Done. I have paid for my food. Done. So now the town is going to build a special building. That special building, we already know what that is. That is going to be Le Tavern. Right there. Okay. So the tavern says it's four bucks to buy it. You can see it. It's one wood and one grain. I can do that up and that one wood and one grain turns in three bucks. I can do that a max of four times. I only had two food. Okay. You guys seem confused, so I will I will help you with this. Grain is not food. This is how much francs it's worth potentially. You sell it and at the end of the game and stuff like that. Okay? These are food. Food, food, food. That's all the food in the game. These are not food yet. Okay? All right? So, that's food. So, I paid there. And technically, I will have had to have paid my francs, but you get the idea. All right. So, now that we have done all of that, we then flip this over. Oh, hey, it's a wooden ship. So we put it up here in the wooden ship. We cannot build it yet. Why? Because uh, the wharf is not built yet. So therefore, the ships can only be purchased. And the purchase price, 14 francs, and it's worth two. But it offsets by food. That's the real reason we want that, okay? All right? Cool. All right. Good deal. All right. That's the end of the first round. We now know we are in the second round. How do we know this? It says it's the second round. There we go. We owe 10 food, and it will build, the town will build uh, the lowest numbered uh, building proposal that is available, which currently, right now, is going to be the fishery. That is building number three, that is building number nine, that is building number 16. Okay? As of right now. What's up, Boogie? All right. Hey, if you guys are enjoying this, give it a thumb down below. Subscribe. Support the show. Pledge HC.com. Well, apparently, uh, apparently some of you guys have beat me to it, so before we begin the next round, I need to do this more, apparently. It's almost like I stream this every day, just about. Really? Come on. That works. Yes, it went up too. Why, you might ask? Uh, board game losers. Cheers. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. And uh, Vanessa, thank you for the support as well. Cheers. That's what I'm talking about. Happy birthday month to me. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate the support very much. All right. <laughs> French dock workers not eating raw cow really breaks. Eh, right? A little tartare. Right? All right. Take care, J uh, JJ. Have to leave real early tonight. Nice. Nice. All right. Enjoy. All right. Cool. So. We then come back here, so one franc, that's now five, so we'll change that out, make it easier. There, and one iron. All right, well, what do we want to do? I have one of things and then two grain. I don't want to mess with the grain yet until we have more grain, so we're gonna hold off on doing anything with that, all right? All right. right. 
I really kind of, I want to wait to get the wood and clay until the end of that. That's two more clay there and one more and two more wood there. I would rather wait to do that. So we could take the francs. Um, If we took the francs, we could build either of the two building firms, which then helps the marketplace, you know? So, ah. I kind of, because no more francs are coming out there. So you know what? I think we will. I think we'll go ahead and just take that. Then the question is, do we build one of the building firms? because it helps, well actually, it helps both the clay mound and the marketplace. So I think the answer is yes, we will. So I will go ahead and spend four of those newly required or acquired francs and we'll go ahead and build that building firm there and that's still on the marketplace. And we're just going to slide these over just to keep it all in one uh, camera view here. Okay, here we go. Good. I like that. All right. Now, feel free, Rocky. It's all good. It's all good. All right. So that is done. So we are now going to move here. That's a wood and a cattle. So I'm curious. It seems to me that a lot of you guys out there have never played Lahav. Who has never played Lahav? All right. Well, I appreciate that, Board Game Losers and Vanessa, both. Yeah, thanks, y'all, very much. All right, so now, what do we want to do? I mean, that would give us four clay if we went here, which, to be able to get the colory, we need three clay. It's not... Not bad. Four clays, not bad. Or, or uh, that's four either way, isn't it? Yeah, so we could wait on that. Ah. Uh, hmm. So if we had four clay and one wood, that would be three clay, one wood there. I would be short a wood to be able to build both of those. But we could always get the wood next turn and build both of them. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I really want to get to that damn wharf though. Also, that is a really big deal. Um, and the smokehouse is right underneath the fishery. Oh, interesting. So if I were to take the wood right now, I would then be able to build both of those and be able to get access to the wharf. Huh, I like that idea. So I'm gonna take the wood. I, I like that a lot, actually. So we're now up to five wood there. Yeah, I'm good with that. So then we move one fish and one clay. There we go. So now, I don't have the food. But getting that helps me get food. I think it's worth it. All right, so I'm going to take this to go up to the construction firm. I owe two food. I do not have any food. I will spend two bucks as my food. And then we're going to go ahead. I have five wood. Five wood, a clay, and an iron. I'm going to build the fishery, which is going to be one wood and one clay. So, one wood and... Ah, I'm going to turn off. Hold on. Back that up. I will spend, get my two bucks back, and I will move this back to there. Hold on one second. I need the clay first. So, 
So, oh, I want all of the buildings, right? Um, yeah, exactly, Thomas. Rushing for the wharf to help with food. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Uh, and the wharf is going to need two wood, oh, two wood, two clay. I need a lot of clay. And I need three or five. So I need three more clay, which I do have here, and an iron to be able to build all three. I think that's what we do. But then I need five wood. Uh, So I think we will take, we'll go to the clay mound, which is going to get us four clay, which is the same as that right now, and we'll let that accumulate. So that's going to be four clay for that. One, two, three, four. Done. Now... A wood and a clay comes out. That's five and one. Okay. All right. So now, now I will do what I was trying to do, which is go to the construction firm. And again, going to walk through this a little bit. All right. So the construction firm requires two food. I do not have two food. So I will pay two francs. To represent and now I'm allowed to build up to two buildings so now we will do so now we will build the fishery I think because no more cattle are coming out and I don't want to kill the cattle yet so they can have a baby yes so I will build the fishery the fishery requires one wood and one clay so one wood and one clay then I can build a second building, all right? I will build the smokehouse, which is going to be two wood and one clay. So two wood and one clay, and the smokehouse will come on over. Because get you fit, no, you, shoot, we're gonna have to zoom out a hair now so you guys can see even, well, you know what? I don't think we do. Let's try this. Yep, let's bring that down a little. You guys can still see that pretty clear, I think. There we go. So, fish gets three fish plus one per this, so that's going to be three, four, five symbols, so that's going to be five fish. Then I can go over here to spend one energy total and turn up to six fish into smoked fish, which are worth two food instead of one, and half a coin each. So there's that. But equally, and I would argue more important than that, all right, is the wharf. Because now we're going to be able to, once we get the wharf, which we have two clay, we have three clay, uh, we have two wood, and we have one iron. So we need another iron. It allows us to build ships. And the reason we want to build ships is this offsets half, five of our food that we're going to owe. All right. Hey, Joe. Welcome. All right. And yes, this last franc, if we get rid of it, we have to pay interest here. If you don't have interest, you know what you do? You either sell a building or get a loan to pay the interest on your loan. Yo, dog, I hear you like loans. All right. So there's that. All right, so we need iron. There's no more iron coming this turn. Wait, I already took my action for that, didn't I? Yes, I did. So now fish and grain come out. A fish and a grain. Oof. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the ship this 
round. Because, let's see, I have three actions left, right? I need an iron. Then I need five wood. One. One. Two, three. That's not five. So we're not going, okay, so we're not going to worry about getting the ship this turn. So in that case, we do need some food. So we have the fishery, which gets us five food, so we could take that action. Then the next turn, we could uh, burn one of our wood to then turn all five fish into the ten food that we need, and then we don't have any more, we don't get a loan. That's not a terrible idea. That's not a terrible idea. And that would get us uh, two more bucks as well from the smokehouse down below here. You know what? I am going to zoom out a hair so you guys can see all the cards. I don't want to push everything. Yeah, it's too far. I lied. I'm not going to. So I will do what I said I didn't want to do. I'll push everything up. <laughs> there we go. That's better. That'll work. That's not so bad. All right, fine. There we go. At least now you guys can see them. There we go. That. There we go. All right. Uh, so what do we do? If we did that with our two of our turns, that would take care of all of our food needs. Then we would have the last round. We could take the cattle in the last round to then be able to get a third cattle out of that. Might not be a terrible idea. Um... And I feel like we're in pretty good shape at that point. Uh, that's really good, Guzzarino. They say smoking's bad, but it cures poisson, which is fish, right? Uh, that's a fair point. We could not worry about taking the loans and not worry about food. So if that's the case, what do we do? We have two wood, three clay, and an iron still. And then these are the buildings that are, of, oh, now everything's going to be off. No, that's okay. All right. Yeah, that's all right. So what do we have there? We could build the abattoir. One, one, and one, which would leave us one and two. We are one clay short to be able to build the colliery and the abattoir. We don't really have a good way to get more wood. Ha ha. Ha. Ah, what do we do? This is tough. So if we were to build the abattoir, the shipping line opens up, as does the ironworks. But I really want to be able to focus on getting that wharf next, next time we buy, right? I mean, we could load up on clay. We need iron to be able to get the wharf. But the marketplace would allow us to get two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different goods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All but one of the, you know what? How about we do that? I like that idea. So we'll go to the marketplace. The marketplace. Now I'm going to have to adjust this one. A moment. 
Yeah, that actually works a little bit better. Oh, yeah, I like that. Zoom that out a hair. There we go. Cool. All right, so the marketplace allows us to get two, three, four, five, six, seven different goods. That seems good. Seven goods. So what is the one thing we don't want? Well, we know that special building will help us with hides. Well, I know I'm going to take an iron. I know I'm going to take a coal, or I'm sorry, a clay. I'm going to take a wood. Those three, I know. I'll take a fish for the food. That's four. Take another coal, seems like a good idea. So grain, cattle, and hides, I can get two of them. I think we go grain and cattle. So we'll leave the hides for now. See, that's what I was thinking, Lars, but the peanut gallery overruled me, so. There we go. So we took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven resources. That's about as good as it gets right there. That's max use of uh, just about of the marketplace. So I'm happy with that. So interest. So we owe interest, paid our interest, and now a wood and a fish comes out. I am shocked at how many of y'all have never played this. That's awesome. Then, then, yeah, this is, it seems so simple, but, oh, um, yeah. All right. So now that we got all that, if we built the wharf, two, two, and two, that leaves one and two. We are one short to be able to build the wharf and the colliery. The abattoir is really nice as well. Um, Ah. Oh, thank you. We get to check the next two before we do anything. So back here with the uh, marketplace, I forgot. So we know that this one is fur factory we, or fur industry. We know that from last time we looked. And the logging camp. Turn a food, up to seven food into wood. That seems really good. And it has both of those symbols on it. That seems really good. Uh, if you have excess food, which. I think we go logging camp and then the fur industry will be the last card in the, uh, in the solo game. I like that. So we'll put the logging camp on the top and the other special buildings just don't get used. So there we go. All right, cool. All right. Well, now what are we going to do for our action? I really want to be able to get those cattle to be able to get the free cattle. Um, because the abattoir allows us to turn that into three food, each of those cattle. All right. Uh, seven. I'm too short. So, one, two. So here, we want to be able to build the ship on that turn. We're going to build a wooden ship there. Which means we have till then to have bought the wharf. 
because that will give us enough wood. There's one more wood coming and that, that'll be four, five, and then two more to be able to build it. So we're good there. Okay. So what do we do now? Let's see. We cannot do anything with wood as other than acquire it. We could go, again, we could go to the fishery, which would be three, four, five, five fish, and then smoke them, and that takes care of all of our food requirements for this round. If we, so that would be this turn and that turn. We miss out on the cattle, which means we miss out on one cattle. But we need food. We have one food. Yeah, we're, I, I, that's a lot of low, I mean, because right now we have, with two loans, that's four, bu uh, four more bucks, three loans total, four bucks a piece, that's eight, and we have one fish. Yeah, I think we're going fishery for five fish. One, two, three, four, five. And that is actually a sixth fish because there's one there already. Next, we add one to the francs and one wood. And I'm of the mind, smoke them if you got them. So we need to spend one energy. Yeah. Well, now we have a, now we have a kind of a dilemma here, okay? And here, I'll, I'll show you what it is. One energy is a wood. I could waste two coal, or waste the coal and waste the other two energy, right? Because I have to have one energy to be able to smoke all six fish. So it's one total, right? But if I do that, then I'm going to be one short on my wood. But the good news is, um, if I waited until the fourth turn of next round to be able to build the ship, it's still okay. It doesn't really matter whether it's here or here. So all that does is delay from here to there. So I think that's okay. So with that said, I think we will do the smokehouse. I will spend one wood for the energy. Then I'm going to turn all six fish, flip them over, smoke them if you got them, and that's now 12 food. And here's the other really nice thing is in addition to the smoked fish, I get half a coin, half a franc. And I smoke three fish, so that's going to be, or uh, six fish, so that's going to be three francs. So, and that covers our interest as well, da 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 da, -da. okay? All right. So, there you go, all right? Hey, Mutaka, all right. All that makes sense? I hope. Good. So now, end of the round. We are two-sevenths of the way through the game. Harvest. I do have a grain, or at least a grain, so I get a grain. I do not have multiple cows. I do not get any cows. So I get one grain. I have three grain. I now have four grain. Good. And we owe ten food. Well, right here. Two, four, six, eight, ten food. That'll work. No loan, so that's kind of nice. And then the game will build the lowest numbered building that is available in the three building proposals. All right? So we have building number 9, building number 16, and building number 12. So it sounds like the abattoir is going to be built by the town. We can buy it for 8 bucks now. There we go. And that now made the shipping line available. So let's go and zoom in a little bit on said shipping line, shall we? Because this is going to come into play later on in the game. So, spend three energy per loaded ship because remember, ships allow you to sell goods with the shipping line. And it shows how much money you get for discarding those goods, right? So there you go, something to think about for later on, okay? All right. 
So the game built that. That's it. We now come back. It's uh, And this card gets flipped. That is another wooden ship. This one is worth four victory points as opposed to two victory points. So I will show you guys the difference between the two ship, the two wooden ships. No iron men, though, just two iron ships. So you can see two francs versus four francs, but they still cost 14. So it actually benefits us to have waited to have built that ship, and it will offset five of the food of the 15 we are now going to need. All right, so new round. One iron and one franc. <sighs> All right. You guys digging this? You guys able to follow along? Is it making sense? Three, five, six, seven wood. Hmm. We could go back to the marketplace. Three irons tempting. And there's no more iron coming for the rest of the round. The iron is tempting. This is going to be an iron ship here, all right? And that costs uh, three energy and four iron to build this, and it provides seven food, and you can ship three goods. All right. Who is this guy that comes every morning to the port and drops a franc there? Yeah, I know, right? I don't have a brick for the wharf yet, but I have brick works, which I will be able to turn in. So I don't need the wharf except to be able to build iron ships, which not yet. You need to modernize the wharf. The first player that uh, builds an iron ship also must donate a brick to modernize the wharf to be able to build iron ships. That's a lot of clay, but I know I'm going to build there, so I might as well let the clay continue to add up there. So I'm not going to be able to get more wood, except, you know what? Uh, no, I can't. That's right. The abattoir has been uh, built already, so I can't build it. I can only buy it. I'm kind of leaning towards the marketplace again. The special building aspect of it doesn't really matter. The reason I'm thinking about the marketplace is I want to be able to build a second building when I build the wharf. And that colliery, I know I can do as long as, yep, we're going to the marketplace because I am one wood and one clay short, so that makes sense. So for that action, we will go to the marketplace and I will get the exact same, I think. Except this time I'm going to skip the fish. And take the hide. No, because we slid the hide thing down to the bottom. I am going I'm gonna skip the hide and take all of the others. So I will take a fish, a grain, a cattle, because this turn. The grain is going to become the bakehouse, which is going to help me with food as well as some money now that I have a total of five grain there. So I already got the cattle, which I now have a pair of cattle, which is good. Wood, a clay, an iron, and a coal. Which, by the way, speaking of coal, if you guys have not heard, we had to change the... Uh, 
uh, stream for the cocktail hour. It is now going to be tomorrow at 7 p.m. with me and Cole Worley. Uh, he was going to be unavailable on Friday. Something came up. And I've been thinking about it, and I think what I'm going to do, I was originally planning on doing uh, swapping those two, but I might do Roads and Boats tomorrow this time instead of Friday. Still to be determined, but I'll make that decision tonight. Okay? All right. Cool. So I've gotten all those resources. We're done. Wood in a cattle. That's three moves. So now, I think I am two food short. Right. Okay. So be it. I will go to the, uh, check that, the construction firm. I owe two food to be able to go up to that, remember? So that's going to be one fish and one franc. And I'm going to build both the colliery and the wharf. So that's going to be a total of three wood, five clay, and two iron. All right, so three wood, one, two, three wood, five clay, and two iron to build both of those. And the, we will go, there we go. I'm going to move those up a little because to be able to build iron ships or steel ships has to be modernized, as I mentioned. Okay? All right. Nice. So now, to be able to do that, I'm going to need five wood. There are four there. The five wood is going to be there, so I actually will build the ship there. Excellent. So that is done. And now a fish and a clay. That's a lot of fish now. And that is now six clay. All right. So now what do I do? Um, hmm. Hadn't figured this part out. Oh, I did have that up there. Check that. Hold on. I'm going to pull that back. I'm going to pull that fish back. I had a smoked fish, which is worth two food. Thank you for that, Gusarino. Good call. How much am I worth right now? Uh, all right, let, let's take stock of that, shall we? That's going to be three francs, so three. This may not be perfect, but it gives you the idea. Three, uh, four, five, 13, 21, 35. 41, 45, 55, 65, 79, 85. 85 all day, right now. All right, exit. All right. Sorry, a moment. Okay, cool. Just check. Ah, oh, so what do we have here? We have a total of five grain right now. Hmm. It's funny, I have that action and I have that action figured out. Well, here's the thing. So if I have this action, which is going to be take the wood, and this one is going to be build a ship, right? And it's... I want to get off of that construction firm to be able to go there to be able to build a ship and maybe something else? Well, the tannery would require, and that is the last one in that one, isn't it? Uh, one clay, I'm sorry, ooh, that's a brick. Ooh. All those are bricks at this point. Make sure, 
I didn't cheat. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, something to point out now. These now require bricks and not clay. Notice that, okay? So bricks are going to be from the brick house. She's a brick. Okay, it's brick works, but work with me, all right? Uh, I guess the marketplace just to be able to reload everything, but I don't want to bother doing the brickworks. So maybe I only, maybe I come to my, ah, so here's the thing. Maybe I only build that one ship and I don't build anything else because I'm not going to have the resources to be able to do so. Or, or, or I wait to build the ship until here and that would get me two extra wood if I waited to take that. If I got two extra wood, yeah, let's go ahead, I guess, go to the marketplace. Two, make sure nothing changed. Three, four, five, six, seven. What do I skip? Uh... Hmm. I am out of clay right now. Or I could get the clay to be able to hook up for the brick. Ooh. But if I wait, there will be one more clay. Seven. I want even numbers to make sense of that. So I don't think... You know what? Instead of going to the marketplace... Well, and the clay mound would be three... Four. So it makes, yeah. But the extra clay is just nice, which would give me two more. Oh. I think I got it worked out to where there's going to be some marketplace action, a clay mound, maybe another marketplace action. Uh, there's the colliery to be able to make up the difference in uh, energy that I'm going to need. So, yeah, I am going to go the marketplace. We'll skip the hide again. Because I forgot, when I go to the marketplace, it's also going to get me a clay, which is going to be really, really important. There we go. Done. So now, a wood and a clay... Now we will take that. And that is a total of seven clay here. Along with the one that we have, that's now eight. That's done. So now we go there, which is fish and grain. That's three, four, five, six fish over there. And another grain. Okay. If I wait one or maybe two to be able to get the extra wood, I think that makes the most sense. Um, so the rest of the round is take clay, make bread. Oh, good point. I have to take it here. I have to take the wood there and then build the ship. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Yep. So now we're going to go to the bakehouse. So the bakehouse... All right. Bakehouse allows me to turn all my grain. How many grain do we have? We have six grain. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Yeah, because the extra buck it is. So that's going to be six grain. That's going to cost me three energy. Three energy is going to be one coal. So to flip all of all six of our grain, and that's also going to get us 
three francs, so turn one, two back and get a five. Done. That was the break house. Done. Interest. It's a buck for the interest. A wood and a fish. And now we will take the wood. There, done. A wood and a franc comes out. And now we will go because I don't have bricks, we're only going to go to a single building firm there, and we will build the ship. Now, it's the first time we've done this, so, I mean, I think you guys got it, all right? So the ship, it's going to be one ener or three energy, which is one coal and five wood to be able to build it. So one coal and five wood. There we go. So we now have our ship. We'll just, you know what? The ships we can put over here. And whenever you take a ship, whatever food it offsets, we'll go ahead, put right there as well. Okay? There we go. Excellent-ish. So, end of the round, harvest. Nope, we're gonna stay on target. No grain, so I don't get any grain, but I do have more than at least two cows. So, there we go. 15 food. There's five of it, so it's actually 10 food. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Done. And then the, uh, the uh, town Lahav will build a special building. Oh, I wonder what it is. Oh, it's a logging camp, wow. Turn in one food up to seven times. The, so one food equals one wood, so I can exchange food for wood, okay? So I'm a beaver. I can eat wood. I, I know beavers don't really, they don't eat wood. They just cut it down, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right, so that is the end of that. That's an iron ship. Thank you, Kushigura. I appreciate that. Uh, iron ship, so you can sell up to three goods, cost three energy and for iron or 20 francs. You guys can see, so there we go. We'll keep it like that for now. Okay, there we go. Oh, thank you, yeah, 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 uh, totally. Alan, my bad, yes. Uh, let me get over, I'm probably going to have to, yep, zoom that out a little bit more now. I shouldn't be on the building. Thank you, Alan. Brain fart, that's all right. Should actually be, there. Building costs, and you can build one ship. And the first player to build a non-wooden ship must modernize. So I should have gone there instead of the building firm. So I don't know what I was thinking. So there we go. All right. They eat some of the bark. All right. So beaverish. All right. There we go. All right. Cool. All right. We are into round four. An iron and a frunk. All right, so we need four iron and three energy to be able to build that and a brick. I have the energy, I have two iron. There's four iron right there. That will be 12 of the 20 food that we need, okay? Hmm. That's a ton of fish. That's seven fish right there. Seven, eight, nine, that's 10 fish. Smokehouse is a max of six at a time though. Keep that in mind. Uh, there's no more iron coming out, right? Yep, we'll go and take the iron. 
Done. So, bread and a cattle. Did I say bread? Really? Wood and a cattle? All right. I think it's time for some bricks. We have a ton of clay. We have eight clay. Yep. So let's go ahead and do that, I think. Interest only gets paid right here. Yeah, they're really, really big. They're tuna, Chad. All right, so we are going to go to the brick. Ouch. So we have eight clay. So it's going to be four energy and we get four bucks for that. So we need four energy. That is a wood and a coal. That's four energy. And we'll take all of our clay, flip it over, and we will take four francs. That'll do a fish and a clay. I mean, why wait? Might as well. I can't think of a reason not to. So, let's go and build the iron ship. Iron ship is, well, first. There we go. All right, the iron ship, to be able to build an iron ship, we have to modernize. That means we need to take one of our bricks that we have here and basically donate it, and it stays there for the rest of the game. No one else, if you're playing multiplayer, has to do that. It's only the first person that builds an iron or a non-wooden ship, as it were. So we will go to that, all right? And that's going to cost us four iron and... Four iron and three energy. So there's one coal for the energy and four iron. One, two, three, four. And that is going to be seven more food. That's a total of 12 food. Offset now. All right, good to know, Nico. All right, I took French for a year in high school too. I totally cheated, didn't I? I put the fish here, and I put the clay there, didn't I? Thank you, Sergio. Ah, that's a problem with having this this close to that. So, good catch. Thank you. So that was built that. Wooden a clay. All right. Huh. If we were to build that other wooden ship, what would it take? It's five wood. I mean, it offsets five food, right? Huh. 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 There would be enough wood there. And I'm seriously considering... Seriously considering purchasing up there. Because the abattoir, I don't know if you guys saw this. Um, oop, wrong one. Hold on. I, but uh, it costs two francs to uh, 
go to the abattoir, and that's worth three food a piece, and it gets, starts getting us hides as well, and it doesn't cost anything like to go there. If we own it, you just flip your cows. Thank you, Chad. Good looking out. Ah. Because on top of that, by buying that abattoir, then that allows us to get a hide every time we go to the marketplace as well. I don't know if it's terribly important. The logging camp, there's no, per no reason to purchase it. Hmm. I don't ah. Hey, Cray. Uh. Well, I definitely want to build that last wooden ship, I think. I think so. Because then I only need three food. I mean, I'm halfway to the end of the game of uh, half the food requirement, right? It's only worth two points, but it offsets a ton of food over the course of, well, this is round four, so five, six, seven. So it offsets 15 food needing, right? That's a fair point. Might only need to go to the abattoir once. So if that's the case, I think we'll go to the marketplace. I think so, because that's going to get us the coal that we're going to need for the ship as well. Or, hold on, hold on, hold on. Or, we have to get this off the wharf to be able to use the wharf again. So the colliery will get us three, four, four. It would get us four coal there. Whereas... If we go to the marketplace, we only get one coal, but we also get another grain, which is going to give us another grain and another cattle for when we go to the abattoir. But we have four. <laughs> and we have an even number right now, and there's no more cows coming. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, logging camp. You can eat your, uh, your food turns into wood. All right, it's a ton of fish. Now there's, eight, so there's eight fish there, huh? I don't need to. So hold on, let's stop getting tempted by the big things, right? I have a bunch of bricks now too. So looking out there, the ironworks is going to be really important. Uh, for getting the steel ships. And where is... Steel, okay, the steel mill is at the bottom after the shipping line there. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to go with the marketplace. Um, and we'll leave the hides, and we'll do the same. I think so. I mean, we're maxing out using that. I think that makes sense. Is it the most efficient? Is it the most efficient? I'm not sure, but I will not apologize for that at all. Done. So there's the marketplace. Fish and a grain. Nine fish. Fish. All right, so we have two wood, that's three, that would be the five that we need for that. We could get the cattle now, we're one cattle short from being able to keep a pair and turn eight of them over, all right? And where's the cokery? The 
Kokiri is right there, which is really going to be important as well. So I feel like I have a little bit of flexibility with this next action. So here we get the wood, and here we build the ship. So what do I do with this? Uh, that's for the interest. So I still have eight francs. So I don't... So that'll be 17. I'll need three food. There's the three fish, so I'm good without taking a loan. So I'm good without having to get any food. So I think... So I don't need to rush on the cattle. So I can wait until this gets one more, then I can leave a breeding pair. Yeah, I think that works out. Um, <laughs> thanks, Tony. Enjoy. And yeah. Uh, so let's look. What can we build? I have plenty of bricks. I could build the shipping line, but that takes all the wood I have. I want one more wood. Damn it. So what if we manipulate the order of this? What if we take the wood now, we forego that and it builds up for next time, that's fine. That's five wood there. So for this, we take the wood. Then, next turn, we build the ship. Then here, what do we do? We're st still short on wood, so it doesn't, uh, yeah, that doesn't change anything. The order in which we do that doesn't matter. That's a fair point. I'm not buying anything that's available, right? Uh, the game is going to build one. It will build 1822. It will build the shipping line. Mm, man. I don't know. Do I let the game build that? I hate only being able to build one building. Yeah, I get uh yeah, I guess it makes sense. I'll go ahead and spend the 5 and pay back the loan. You can do that on it any time on your turn. So ahead of paying the interest, right? I think that's a good point, Sergio. What's that, Gusarino? Oh, this is really hard. No, I think we wait, we wait to build. So not going to build. The cattle, I wait till then. This is going to be take wood, this is going to be go to the wharf and build the ship. So what the hell do I do? What makes the most sense for right now? It can't be this and it's not going to be that. So therefore, I mean, it's a ton of fish, but if I'm getting, eh. uh, going to the colliery isn't a terrible idea. That gives us four of that, which then could turn into Coke later on.
I just don't have anything great to do right now. So, you know what? Yeah, I might as well do, do this now. And here's why I just realized why this makes the most sense. The reason I want to do the coal ring now is I get three and then a max of one if you have hammers. So it doesn't matter how many hammers you have. I have a hammer, so might as well do it now. So it's going to get me a total of four coal. One, two, three, and flip those over. They are not coke yet. All right, there we go, done. Intra oh, wait, I don't have any more loans. Nice. Still get in the habit of calling it out, though, just for the simple fact that, uh, so you don't forget when you do have loans. So there's that. Now I will take the four wood. And now here, that will give a wood and another front there. And we will go to the wharf. The wharf is going to be one coal and for the three energy and the five wood, which is five of the six that I have. The iron ship, I'm sorry, the wooden ship. So it's going to be five more. It's a total of 17. So that's 17 food we don't have to pay now. All right, so that's the end of the round. So uh, harvest, we do have at least one grain, so that's good. I have plenty of moo cows to be able to get another moo cow. So there's the harvest. Uh, 20 food, I have 17 here, and that's going to be three fish for 20 there. The game will build the shipping line as we already discussed there. So there are a total of four buildings left. The steel mill is going to be important for turning this oh, next ship is going to be steel ships. These can sell four goods and they offset 10 food a piece. All right, cool. All right. 25 food in the special building at the end of this round. So there, one front and an iron. Don't know at this point. No, we're waiting on the cows to there. The cows come home there. Uh, well, what do we do? I think we start looking at what we can build. The steel mill is going to be uber important. It's going to cost four bricks and two iron, which we have. Four bricks and three iron, so that would leave us three bricks. We need two wood. Damn it. To be able to build both of those. We're two wood short. I mean, there's that, which would turn our two bread into the two wood we need to be able to build both of those. And we let that build up. That, yeah. No, wait a minute. Yeah, we're two wood short. You're right. So we can't count that one. We need two wood total, or we could go to our friend the marketplace again, which I like that better. So let's do the marketplace, everything. I think, not. might as well take the fish, still add it to the hoard of fish we're going to eventually take.
a school of fish, I guess, would be more appropriate. That works. A wood and a... So now we will take the said... It's cow's opinion. It's moo. There we go. A fish in a clay. All right. Well, abattoir we're definitely going to go to at some point now. We also want to build as, but I can't, I'm still one wood short. I could take the wood. You know what? Let's go to the abattoir now. There's no reason to wait. It frees us up. So if we go to the abattoir, that is going to be there. Uh, that cost us two francs to be able to go there. And flip your, all your cows over that you want and you get half a hide a piece. All right. So how many do we have total? We have four, eight, 10, 12. I think we just do 10 and we leave the breeding pair. That's five. Yep, that's 10. So that gives us five hides and we have our breeding pair of cattle still. So five hides as well. Make sure they're not on the leather side yet. Right? Yeah, hides. Okay, just checking. All right. Well, we're good for food for a while. All right. So that's done. A wood and a clay. Yeah, almost cheated again. I only need one wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, still the same. Um, wow. We could take that school of fish. Uh, we could take the wood, which gives us the wood that we need to be able to build both of those buildings. We could go back to the marketplace. We only need the one wood, right? I only need the one wood. Go back to the marketplace. And what does, for the hides, right, the tannery? Only, it limits it to four, so yeah, I'll go ahead and take the fish, that's fine. It does seem pretty exploitive the marketplace in the solo game. I will say that, that is true. And apparently there is a unofficial uh, variant where it limits you to four no matter what. All right. Fish and grain. Again, this is the first time I played it solo. Well, sort of solo with the peanut gallery, obviously, right? But. Uh, this is uh, Orange Pico, by the way. This was Orange Pico. I think I have English breakfast in the other one. Jess says hi to y'all, by the way. All right. Uh, all right, what are we doing? 
I think we build. Yeah, we're going to build now. So we will go to the construction firm. That's going to cost us two food. So that'll be the bread. So that's two food. And now we have three wood and a bunch of bricks. So steel mill is going to be four bricks and two iron. So it's going to be a total of three wood. Yeah, three wood, six bricks and two iron. Okay. So three wood, one, two, three. It's fairway wood. Uh, six bricks. That's five. That's six bricks. Going to crap them. Uh, two iron. The steel mill and the iron works. I'll be honest. I didn't expect to be able to build this many buildings. I thought I was going to, yeah, I, again, my bad. Yeah. All right. Those are done. Feels good. I will say that. That's for sure. Interest. No interest. We get one wood and a fish. I still have, I haven't cheated again, have I? Hopefully, right? Uh, Cooper is loving life. By the way, he, he knows that whenever we go like for a treat to like Starbucks, he knows at this point he gets a puppuccino. It's pretty funny. So we did work very hard to get that, uh, to get that wood, but it, it died a hero though. All right. So there's that. Seriously, there's a War Games worth of chits in the fish offer. Seriously. <laughs> ah. Oh, all right. So what are we trying to do here? Um... Can we build the other iron ship? We have enough iron, yes, yes we, uh, four. We are one iron short. It's one iron. There's ironworks. Ooh, ooh. So I'm curious, how many hammers do we have now? We have one, two hammers. So that'd be five, five clay to be able to get more bricks to be able to build, right? Because the game's going to build a special building, and there are now two buildings left to build. Wow, this feels wide open, a lot more open than it does in a multiplayer game. Yeah. Shipping is a fair point, too, Banker Dave says. Uh, that, is, that is a fair point. Um... If we were to build that other iron ship, I'm just, just thinking out loud here. If we were to build the ship, which we can, right? We could either do the market, well, we would do the ironworks. If we go to the ironworks here, we then could go to the wharf and build that iron ship. And if so, we owe one food. We're good for food the rest of the game. I kind of like that idea. So you know what? Let's head over to the ironworks. You get three iron plus uh, you can spend up to, mm, you know what, let me go to there. I think that'll work. There we go. So the ironworks says you get three iron and then you may spend max one time six energy and you get a fourth iron. All right. Oh, what goods am I going to ship? I have no idea. Probably high, yeah. Probably leather, I think. We'll go to the the tannery once we build it, I think. Banker Dave. Um, so do we want to spend the energy? I think we do. So that's going to be two coal. That's six energy. Pure energy. I Every, every time I, say, I, I get that... Who, what song, uh, I want to know what you're thinking. What song is that? I cannot, I, I can hear the song, but I can't think of the name. 
Yeah, anyway, for uh, iron. Now, all of a sudden, I like wanted to throw, and I was like, oh, I can't. I'm streaming. I can't throw that on. There, we got four iron for that. One wood and a there's seven, right? That's seven points right there, just hanging out. Again, I don't have to worry about somebody else taking this stuff. You certainly do in a multiplayer game, all right? So I think now we come back to the wharf. And that's going to be three energy and four iron. The four iron we just got. And that'll be the iron ship. And that's going to be seven more food. So we'll turn that to a 10. That's the end of the round. We have grain. We have a breeding pair. So we get one of each of those. Information Society. Yes, Gusarino. Well done. All right. End of the round. So let's see. What do we got? Well done, Gusarino. I'd rather have it than not need it because we can go to the colliery. I feel comfortable being able to do that. So we harvested. We owe one food. That's insane. It was a good fish. It was a trout. It was a brook trout. It had little dots on it. Anyway. <clears throat> special building gets built. And the special building is... Oh, it's a fur industry. So three hides and 10 bucks turns into 22 bucks. You know what? Nothing else there, so we'll go ahead and throw that there. Okay? That's interesting. Costs two food to go to it. That's really interesting. Ah. There we go. All right. And we have our first steel ship. Steel ships, you can sell four goods, and it offsets ten food. I mean, the four goods is nice, but we don't need to offset the food. Ten food, that, that'd be it for the rest of the game. I mean, it is worth 16 points, though. And it's two steel and three energy. All right, not iron, but steel. And the steel turns uh, up to five iron into... Um, it's... Check that. I will get this right yet. Uh, there. five energy per iron that you turn in to smelt the iron into steel. All right, it's five energy. That's why the colliery is, I'm sorry, the, uh, the cokery is going to be really, really important. We only have one brick. We have plenty of iron, but we need more brick, which means we need more clay. So we come back here, another iron comes out, and eight points hanging out here now. All right. I'm thinking the clay mound. So that's going to be a total of three bricks, a wood, and two iron. I will need the wood. I don't have quite yet. But I can do that in a minute. Three looking for hammers, four, five. That give me five clay, there's four clay. Let's get the five clay there. One, two, three, four, and five clay. A wood and a cattle. Yes, we are in round six now, all right? This is the penultimate round. Uh, I think we go ahead and take the wood now. I'm good with that.
Yeah. Where am I thinking? Hold on one second. Um, yeah, we'll take the wood now. That's good. So that's a total of six wood there. A fish and a clay. This is just... A, forget overfishing. We're underfishing here. I'm going to wait one more to grab the clay. So let's see. If I grab the clay here, then I go to the brickworks here. That means I have to build there. No, I can't. I can't wait on that one extra clay. I think we... I think I'm trying to be too greedy on the clay. I think we skip that. I think we go to the brickworks now. Yeah, we'll go to the brickworks now. And how many clay do we have? Yep, that works out. That's eight clay. We'll flip over. So eight, that's going to be four energy. That's one coal and a wood. And because that was eight, that's going to be four... Franks as well. Now we have enough bricks. So a wood and a clay there. So now I'm going to build, go to the construction firm to spend two food. I have to waste the food. So I spend three food. I don't get change to be able to go there. Then I'm going to build the cokery and the tannery, which is going to be one wood three bricks, and two iron. So those get built. This is insane. These three are going to be one of the core things that we're going to focus on the rest of the game right here. These three right here. Now that we have the war, if we and we know it's uh, modernized, we can move that down. All right. So if now that all those are built, and you know what, put them there. All right. So none of these are. They're obviously all been built now. Okay. All right. So that was. Uh, Buildings, so now we go fish in a grain. It's obnoxious at this point. There. If I want to build that steel ship this turn, uh, this round, I then would have to go cokery, iron, steel, and I'm one short. Ah, one action short. So I have plenty of food, right? 24, 30, I have plenty of food, so I don't need to worry about that. So if that's the case, let's try and be efficient with this stuff here. And in fact, I would argue that it's going to be these four actions are going to be the main four that I'm going to focus on for the ships. And then after we get this ship built last round, then we focus on shipping, right? Or do we ship now? and not worry about that. That's, that is a possibility. Let me think, give me just a second.
So what are we going to ship, though, is the question, right? Leather, I guess. Steel is worth twice as much, but it's so much harder to do. Ah, now here's an interesting thing. Oh, yeah, check this out. Now, I, this is the first time I've seen any of these special buildings, okay? Because there are so many special buildings, again, all of those are special buildings. Um, if you notice, shipping uh, leather is four francs, right? Each of my ships currently can sell three goods. So that would be a total of 12, right? Whereas, if I went to the fur industry, if I turn in three hides, which isn't leather, right? It saves me a step. That, in theory, would be $12 if I turned it into leather, plus the 10 gets me 22. So that's, if I'm focused on doing hides, it makes more sense to do the fur industry instead of shipping. You know? I would argue the fur industry um, more so than the tavern, honestly. That gives me 12. But I can't afford to do it yet. But I go there, I can. I think that's what we do. I think I will take this for this turn. That gives me 14. I think that makes more sense. Interest, but no loan. So one wood. Ah, I did it again. A wood and a fish. So now... I think we go to the fur industry. And the fur industry says I take three of my hides and I can do this once per turn. So three hides, turn those in. And the 10, you gotta have the 10, but, and I basically just turn three hides into 12 bucks. Five. I think that was a good choice. A wood and one franc. All right, because I was eventually going to need to take that anyway. I suppose it might have cost me two points because one there, one there, and then on the last turn, I guess I could have taken it. I still can if I want. That's a fair point, too, that banker... Okay, so Sergio says you can ship coke and sell leather. Ship coke and sell leather. Banker Dave says bread's good because it's worth three francs when you ship it, and then when you turn it from grain into bread, you get half a franc, so it's actually three and a half. You look at it that way. It's also a fair point. Um... So honestly, at this point, I think now we go colliery, cokery, because we want to be able to get the shipping line, right? Or luxury liner, right? No, wait. No, they're, uh, yeah, the luxury liner is worth 30 points at the end of the game. So the luxury, and it's three steel and then three energy. So, do we pay to use the bit? Oh, good call, we did not. Uh, we will waste one more, because it costs two. Good call, thank you, Tony.
All right. So I think we go to the colliery because we're going to want Coke. So let's do that. Colliery. So it'll be three, max of one, that'll be four. One, two, three, four. To go with the two that we already had, done. That's the end of the round. Get a grain, breeding cattle, harvest. We owe 30 food, 14 or 24, we owe six food. That will be the two meat, because they're three each. And then the game would build a building, but there are none left to build, so we skip that. This becomes a steel ship. This one's worth 20 points. The previous one was worth 16. Okay. And the final round begins. An iron and a franc. All right. So now that we have our coke, we will go to the cokery. And the cokery allows us to turn all of our coal, coal into coke and get one per, all right? So it goes from three energy to 10 energy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 60 energy in theory. That's six, so we get six more. Four and two. So we have enough to be able to buy now uh, the shipping line at the end of the game, or the luxury liner. I'm sorry, can't buy it. Never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, so that was there. A wood and a moo cow. Three iron or the iron works. That would be four iron, 20, four steel. And I need three steel. So I think we will just take the three iron here. Done. A fish and a clay. And now we will go over to the steel mill, and I will turn all four of these iron into steel. It costs five energy per, so that's 20 energy. That is two coke, gone, done. Wood and a clay. So now we need to figure this out. So I need three energy, it says right here, I keep habit. Uh, so I need three energy. So here, one, two, three on the buttery and three steel there to be able to buy the luxury liner at the end of the game as my last action. So now What do we want to do? So the last action actually happens here. So I actually have one, two, three, four actions left, right? Help me out. Did I just, was that the steel mill action that I just did or was that last turn? Ah, it's the first time that happened. Am I done with this action and need to advance? Tell me. I cannot remember. I apologize.
And Banker Dave says, buy the shipping line. That's a good point. I will do that, but I, I'm waiting to hear whether or not I've taken the action on this or not. Move your ship. So that it, I've already done, the action was there. So before I move my ship, I'll spend 10 to buy the shipping line. And we'll put that right there. Yeah, better yet. You know what? Make it a little bit more centrally located so you guys be able to see that here in a second. Okay, good. So, fish. And uh, a grain. All right. Thank you, Nico. All right. So a moment, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm what here's what I'm doing right now is I'm just doing some math. Uh, so I need to show you guys this. And here, I'll just put it here for a second. All right, notice it's three energy per loaded ship, right? My ships, it is three, three, two, and two respectively for what they can ship, what they can hold. Two wooden ships and two iron ships. So it's a total of 10 things if I spend 12 energy. Well, I have 10 here. Check that. Yeah, I have 10 here and I have one wood. I really don't want to spend, waste nine energy on that. However, I can go to the charcoal kiln or I can get all the wood that I need if I need to do one action. So that would allow me to ship three coke, a steel, that's uh, that. I'm just trying to figure out what is the what makes the most sense, and I think baking bread might make the most sense because that's going to be worth three plus it's going to get me more money for doing so. Three, six, that'll be three. They're like three and a quarter a piece there. Um, Nico says, I did do the action, and Lars says, I haven't done the action on spot number four. Yeah. If I shorted myself in action, so be it. So, I think, so I have three actions left, plus buying the shipping line. So, I have one, two, three. So, do I take wood there? Or, or do I just use three ships? So go to the shipping line, use three ships, and that would ship eight goods. And I'd waste one energy, but I'm okay with that. I think that probably makes more sense. Hmm. Either way, I'm going to want that wood. The wood and the grain, or do I bake there? But that's going to cost me energy, too. Forgot about that. So I do need the wood. Do I bother turning it into charcoal? If I turn it into charcoal, each charcoal covers one ship. Or, or do I save a step and just go to the colliery and get four, and that covers four ships? Oh, I haven't done the action, so let's back up. So I've already fed this one, so we're actually there. So I have four actions left. That might change things. 
Uh, I'm not going to take the grain. I'm not going to take the fish, so it doesn't matter. Um, I think it makes more sense to go to the colliery then because then I'll be able to sell more stuff. So that's going to get me four coal. One, two, three, four. That's what I did this action, now it's that action turn. Okay, so now we will go to the shipping line. The shipping line, because I don't have those actions. This will come here, and here we go. So I have two, I have two times I can do the shipping line. So, I will spend 3, 6, 9, 12 to be able to activate all of my ships. However, I'm going to save this to be able to do it again on the last turn. So, I can sell 10 things. 1, 2, 3, 4... Yeah, well, there's that, right? Hmm. And I'm going to need 11 food. Three, three, six, nine, twelve, uh, nine. 12. So those get saved on the buttery as well. So that's what we have available after everything. And I guess technically the Coke will be saved for a minute too. So that's four. Is there anything better? Wood and grain, if I were to go up there for one, that would be worth 12. So if that's the case... I think we, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more thing. I guess that'll be the hides. That'll be 10. I already got that set aside. I got the three woods set aside already. Show you guys. So, on the buttery, I have, this is for the last shipping. I have for my food here. And then the three steel and the three energy for the last shipping line. So all of that is set aside right here. Okay. All right. So this is what we're selling. So to, we can look at this or we could just look at the player aid. So it looks like that's going to be 15. And there's a steel in there. That's going to be 23. A high 24, 25. 25 and 5 cattle is gonna be 40 points right there, okay? So that's 40 points. A moment, I forgot I need the big chips. All right, so 40. So there. There we go. So that is that action. Here, interest, but don't worry about it. That is hit. So I need resources that I can ship that make sense. Or, or, in lieu of that, if I go to the tavern, the tavern can get me 12. And if I ship 10, 
that's worth 20. So that makes sense. All right. So I want resources that are worth the most. Cole, on a single step of what can I do, given I don't have a ton of energy because this Coke is set aside, this is all I have out here that I have stuff. So turning this into bread would be, there's six. It would cost me three energy. I only have one. So that I think makes the most sense. Going to get four coal? I think so. I think, I think that, I think that's it. So I will go to the colliery to get four coal and then for the last, so there, then one more wood and one more front comes out and we will come back to the shipping line and that's going to be three, ah, I only can ship eight because of the Coke, because I only have nine energy, I have 10, 11, which is not uh, 12. So that's wasted. So I spend, so that's three, six, nine, 12. And shipping eight. That's 20. Yep. So I'd be 20 points for the eight that I can ship because I can only activate three of my ships. So that's 20 more points. Then it's the end of the game. I owe 35 food. I already set aside all the food there. So we're good to go. This then flips over. It cannot be bought. One final main action. All right. Eh, whatever, Gusarino. Uh, this card revealed after the last round. Each player can carry out one final main action. You guys can't see that, sorry. There we go. Uh, buildings may be occupied by more than one player. This is the, the last thing. Players can still repay debts. You may not buy anything during the final action phase. So I already set everything aside, so I'm actually going to purchase this or build it, I apologize. Uh, three energy and three steel. And thus, and that technically was the wharf. Done. End of the game. So now that we are at the end of the game, uh, count up the value of your buildings and ships and any cash on hand. All right. So. So we got these, 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 brick can go away, and there we go. All right. Here we go. Somebody keep track, all right, in case I, I screw this up. So all we're looking at now are these numbers. So 10, 18. 32, 36, 42, 50, 64, 66, 76, 82, 104, 116, 134, 144, 156, 166, 166, uh, 172, 176, 178, 178, 208 is what I count on those, okay? 208, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 260, 290. Yep, 290. That's where we finish, I believe. 
All right, there you go. What did we say it was going to be? Was it 250, 300, 350? What was it? Forget. There you go. <laughs> Kusha, Kusha girl, I'm so appalled that all that fish will be disposed of. They're not. We're giving them to charity. Let's be clear. They are not going to waste. I request that uh, Edward not be a capitalist and instead use the fish instead. Uh, but the fishes. Uh, all right. So uh, I'm curious, and I'm sure you guys are as well. It's half. that, Like, it's ridiculous. So what do we got? We got a uh, five, eight, 11, 14, <laughs> seven, 19 fish. And if they were in a barrel, it'd be like shooting fish in a barrel. I digress. All right, there we go. What did I say? What was the goal? I, I don't even remember. I think that was a success either way. Okay, fine, it was three hours, whatever. The thing is, is I, I think I AP'd like twice during that, like legitimately AP'd, uh, just trying to work through everything. But yeah, this is an amazing game. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's, yeah. I, you guys saw it. This is one of my top 50, somewhere in my top 50, uh, definitely. Definitely there. Could be in my top 20 at any given time. Um, one of those rare crossover games, apparently, between me and uh, Tom, Tom Vassell. So, uh, yeah. It's funny. Every time uh, he and I get together and he's like, I like heavy games. I like Lahav. So, um, no, actually, so here, uh, on that note, uh, somebody mentioned now like 20 minutes packing it away. Not really. Take all these, so here's the thing, like the fish, they go, see, it's handy dandy little, there, cover goes on, and boom, all the fish are put up, right? So yes, there's another fish, but you get the idea. It really doesn't take that long. Um, and you just need a giant bag for all the special buildings that you use six. We can't get a single expansion for Orit Labor. Criminal. Criminal. I'm bitter. Goal was 300, and what did I get? I don't even remember. 290, 280. It was close, so I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is a phenomenal game. I don't know if it's in print. Uh, I have no idea. Who knows what is and isn't nowadays. I definitely recommend it. Um, <laughs> the 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 Grand Hamu. Uh, some of those are mixed in here, right? Like some are orange, some are gray, right? So I guess, so. but even if you took out half of these, you still have, I mean, it's, you don't need it. Don't go like, oh, I don't know what the different editions and different uh, whatever. Um, yeah, it's phenomenal. And one other nice thing, Definitely recommend it. And, and by the way, here I will show you guys this as well. So the thing that was off screen uh, for the game was this, oh, yeah, hold on. There we go. Just shows all that, right? So the round, how many actions you're going to get, food requirements, whether it's a harvest, what building to build, and then what kind of ship is coming out, and how many goods each ship can ship if you use the shipping line, right? Um, and each of these is based on player count. So you, I have, and I will show you guys this as well, and I've had these for years now, got these on cardstock. That's the same thing. It's just, uh, it just has the player aid part cut off, so you can just use these. You don't need this. This doesn't come in the game. But the thing is, is it's just... A nice thing to have to be able to store where you put your resources and it has some extra information on it that's just beneficial so I'd recommend printing these off and again I believe the username no, no chance at this point uh, Danicus Lahav player aid so definitely recommend that all right
So. Oh, okay. And Banker Dave says, Tony Trick mine out now looks like yours. Yeah, and like I said, these containers here, I think I got them at Michael's or whatever, and they're, they're perfect. They fit in the green supply or the little supply spots, and they do an awesome job of instead, like you don't have to dump the, these are their own container. I, for this game, I like these, otherwise baggies. We had an interesting discussion about this on Twitter. So, yeah, good stuff. Um, Nico says, Edward, I'd love to see a live stream with the Denver crew when lockdown is over. Banker Dave in it for sure. Uh, yeah, Kleiker, uh, Matt, uh, Brian. Yeah, they, if they want, that'd be awesome. Um, there you go. Have I played the Inland Port, the two-player version? No. I don't know. I, I, I just play this two-player. I don't know why I needed a separate game to play this two. I, I just... This is a, an amazing game. I don't think it needs it. So I cannot speak to how Inland Port is. Maybe it's amazing. I don't know. And yeah, Franny, uh, recommend laminating the player aids. Definitely. I have a laminator somewhere upstairs or in the studio library. But uh, yeah, there you go. Love. Definitely recommend it. It's amazing. You guys just saw it. And it. I'll be honest. Plays great. One to five. Be careful on five, though. It can be a really long game. If you have too much AP, that can be a really long game. Um, and also, uh, whenever you have uh, buildings, put them upside down in front of you so the other players can see them. It's definitely the best recommendation I can have uh, when playing multiplayer. Other than that, that's it. Yeah, there you go. Make sure I didn't miss anyone else. All right, cool. Cool. All right. So Cray says, we're out of lockdown now. Uh, he's down in New Zealand. Uh, so pretty good to get back to gaming. Technically, we are too. But uh, I'll be honest. I've, I've seen the numbers. And it, it ain't pretty right now. At least now, I'm not saying New Zealand. I'm saying here in the States. Poker rooms in New Hampshire are open right now. I am not comfortable. And I talked to the group. And nobody's comfortable with it. Some people are saying maybe September at the earliest. So it may be just, it, and I respect that. And I, 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 I'm not going to play poker. It makes me nervous. And so continue social distancing. Wear your masks. It's not hard. Uh, be smart. Be kind to one another. Yeah, there you go. All right. I will be back tomorrow night for sure with Cole Worley, uh, Cocktail Hour. We will be uh, drinking a, uh, I will be drinking Caprahinas. I recommend you guys having a cocktail with me and Cole. And I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow, whether or not I'm going to do Roads and Boats tomorrow at three or Friday at three. The way I feel after that, my gut says probably gonna keep it at Friday. So basically Thursday and Friday schedule swapped. Um, so there you go. So stay safe, be smart, support the show, Thumbs, subscribe if you don't already. Join the herd. Go to pledgehc.com. Definitely appreciate if you think the content that I provide for you guys over the course of a month is worth a buck or two. Certainly would appreciate it, y'all. Be kind to one another. Social distance. Wear your mask. Do all that stuff. Just remember, be kind to one another. It's not hard. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Bye. I'm calling that a victory. That was close. I think, yeah. I don't remember if it was 275 or 300. That was pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Have a good one, guys.